Today, as you see, we know we have a topic and we are going to speak about Muhammad the Time Traveler. You know, uh, always a person who is a fraud. He claimed to be a prophet. And he have no knowledge of anything, which make it very easier or very easy for us to explore his fraud. When we speak about time traveling, we are not talking about, uh, you know, fiction story. We are talking about a person who makes things up. And we will start showing you series of Muhammad the Time Traveler. So you the judge by yourself. Uh, I want people here, you know, who they are in the chat to focus with me in the topic. Otherwise, I will block you because I consider any question coming to me have nothing to do with the topic. It's just to disturb our topic. And that's mean you are not smart and you are not mature and you don't belong here. So if you have a question when we are done with the topic and I say anyone have a question, done with the topic, then you can give me a question, have nothing to do with the topic. So for now, maintain your mouth and your brain and focus with us. Otherwise, if you are bored, just go leave. If we go to the book of Imam Murra, which is created by Imam Murra, peace be upon him, and Muhammad, aka Allah, we will find in chapter 20, the verse speaking about Moses and the people of uh, the Samartian. According to the stupid Muhammad, the certified idiot, the Samartian people, they were exist in the time of Moses. And Moses, he spoke to them. And those people, they deceived, deceived the Jews and they made them worship a cow. Now, you do not need to be a Jew or a Christian or a Hindu or a Buddha or an atheist, anything. You know, this is history. This is history, this is plain history. I have nothing to do with anyone, you know, uh, regardless of your religion. Doesn't matter what is your religion. Uh, doesn't matter how stupid you are or how smart you are, because Google can help you if you are so stupid or if you are so ignorant, which is very normal these days. If we ask the Mohammedan, how in the world Musa's he was exist in the time of the Samaritan. What the Muslim will say, you see, I'm going to switch translation one by one. This is the Muslim translation at ours, you know. If we ask the Muhammadan, how in the world this is happening, it's like saying that Trump, he spoke to Moses. How Trump, he met Moses. Where Trump, he met Moses. You know, by the way, everything is possible with Trump, with his stories. Like he is the hero who can do everything. Yeah, you know, me. Yeah. Uh, almost he will, what is missing to say, worship me. Uh, but Tr Trump is not a prophet. Trump, he can lie. Biden, he can lie. Everybody can lie. But this guy is a god. The one is talking here is God. So he is a god, but he is a stupid. He is a god, he does not know a very simple thing in history. And then if you read the articles of Muslims trying to refute this, you will see all kind of funny answers. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim in the chat? He is willing to show, join us and tell us how in the world Muhammad, he got this information perfectly matched with history. So this guy, Muhammad, Aka Qatham, Aka Abu Imam Murrah, Aka Idiot, Aka Jambo Mambo Rambo, you know, who never fight anyone, you know, he hide always behind his wife's legs. He missed, he mixed everything up. And just to show you how stupid this man is, according to Muhammad Musa's, is the uncle of Isa. And Isa is the son of Maryam. And Maryam is the sister of Aaron. If we go to different verse in the Quran,
And now the Muslim, they answer, they say, oh, uh, this is at the time, at that time, they used to call the person by his uh, great, uh, from his nation, you know? So they say, oh, sister of Aaron. Well, what do you mean, oh, sister of Aaron? First of all, Mary, she is not from the tribe of Aaron. Secondly, who is the greater in Islam, Aaron or Moses? Who is the greater? If you want to, if you are saying we call them by their great uh, prophet or etc., who is the greater, Moses or Aaron in Islam? Any Muslim can answer me. Who is the one uh, uh, Allah He spoke to him supposedly? So Mary, she is the sister of Aaron, and the Muslim they try to fix that, but that will not work for long. Why? Because the stupid Muhammad, he made another mistake. We will find that there is a whole chapter in the Quran, the yellow pages of Imam Murra, saying that there is uh, uh, Musa's, Musa's and Mary, both of them, they have the same father. If you go here, you will see it says Al Imran. Al, this is not an Arabic word actually, it's an Aramaic, which means uh, the family, the family of Imran. So all of those who will appear here are from the family of Amran. Everybody you see there in this chapter is from the family of Amran. Who is the family of Amran? Amran is the same father of Moses. He is the same father of Mary. Remember in Arabic, the Quran used the word Maryam. Maryam is exactly the correct name of Maryam, the sister of Aaron. True. Aaron. He have a sister. Her name is Maryam. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, this guy, he sat with the Jews. He heard from them that Aaron, he have a sister. Her name is Maryam. Okay, uh, Maryam, she is the mother of uh, Isa. Who, by, by the way, we will go back to Isa just to laugh. Isa, even the name, even every name this guy here, he got wrong because his name is the father of Musa. His name is not Imran, it is Umram or Umram when you speak in the Hebrew language. So, Umram is not Imran. So, even the name he got wrong. And if the Mohammedan they want to try to fix that, any Muslim can explain to us how the father of Mary become, his name is Imran, and this is the same father of Moses. What happened to the real name of the father of Miriam? <laughs> so Moses was exist in the time of the Samaritan. Moses is the uncle of Jesus. Mary is the sister of Aaron, which means she is the sister of Moses too. And uh, Maryam, she have a son, his name is Isa. Now we go to Isa. I don't know if there is any Muhammadan can help us. How come we cannot find this name in any historian book about a person whose name is Isa? He was the son of Maryam, and he is uh, uh, Jesus. Any Muhammadan can help us? Where this name is coming from? When the first time it appeared? Any Muhammadan? Mayday. Mayday. You see, when the Muslim they use the word Jesus in the Quran, there's no Jesus in the Quran. There is Isa, as you see, in Arabic. And always Isa is mentioned as Isa is the son of Maryam. Why not a single Christian, and I am an Arab Christian, we never heard of somebody, his name is Isa, and he is supposed to is Jesus. Why our grand, 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 grandfather, through history, as you know, like, you know, religion, go through families, through, you know, generation to generation, to generation so, etc. This is what the Muslims even believe. They believe that the Quran, is a, as a you know a transmit through uh, uh, you know uh, uh, believers through history from one to one. 
So why we cannot find one person coming with this name? The reason is very simple. Muhammad the fool, he follows some Jewish tradition that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, she had a son, his name is Esau. Which is not approved by the Bible because according to the Bible, Maryam, she did not get married. But the dump, Muhammad, the dump, Muhammad, the dump, the dump, he always dump his dump as big as poo, poo it can be. But his dump cannot be used as a fertilizer. So he come to the conclusion that Isa is the same person. He is a son of Maryam. Maryam is the sister of Aaron. And Musa was exist in the time of the Pharisees. And Maryam, her father, his name is Omron. As you see here, uh, you will see the, uh, 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 the father of uh, uh, Maryam, supposedly, who his name is Amran, and if we ask the Muslims, where Muhammad get this from? Where, what, is, what is the proof that there is a man, his name is Amran? He gave, his wife, she gave birth to a lady or a girl, her name is Maryam. Where, where, are you, where are you get this from? You see, if you want to say that the Christian, they changed the name, we changed the name 600 years before Muhammad to prove that Muhammad is a fraud? Does that make sense? <laughs> so Imran is an old man. His wife, she is an old woman too. And Allah decided to give him a female, a special female. Her name is Maryam. If you go a verse before, or two verse before, you will see that Allah chose Adam and Noah and the family of Abraham above all mankind, above even the genie. Here you will see another problem for the stupid Muhammad. All of us, we heard that Muslims, they claim that Muhammad is descendant from Ishmael. And the Quran claim that Abraham, he is the one who rebuilt the Kaaba, not built the Kaaba, because according to Muslims, uh, you know, they have tons of stories about who built the Kaaba first time. One of them, it was the angels, and then uh, Adam, who Allah, he sent him down to India. And this is a different story. We will laugh about it later. In case you do not know, Adam, what is missing is to say that Adam used to speak Urdu. You know, this is what Muhammad did not say it. So Adam, he landed in Sri Lanka, you know. Actually, I can maybe find you a video. Let me see. Let us see here. I'm typing in Arabic. I hate it when I do that, you know? <laughs> like you type, etc., and then you find yourself typing in Arabic. Uh, Let us see this one. From among Adam alayhi salam, he came down onto the earth. He was sent to the earth. There's a question. Where did he land? He was, he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped, but Allah placed him on the earth. This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa where he says that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind. <laughs> he came down in what is known as the indo pac subcontinent, precisely Sri Lanka.
<laughs> so uh, guys a prophet adam he landed with the parachute from the heaven remember the heaven of islam for adam is in the sky not like the biblical one the biblical one adam was given a garden in the in the earth here not not in different place so Allah, he when he got upset from Adam and his wife, because his wife, she told him to eat the apple, and Adam, he usually he liked banana. So uh, uh, Allah, he decided to send him down, and where? He sent down in Sri Lanka. And then the traveler, the time traveler Muhammad, uh, maybe, according to science, Sri Lanka wasn't, wasn't exist, by the way, at that time. <laughs> By the way, don't you Muslims, you say you, you believe in the Big Bang? So you cannot deny those things now. As long as you believe that the earth is billions of years, etc., and Big Bang is fit with your Quran, then you cannot deny what the, those atheists, they say. So look what happened with this donkey, Muhammad. Adam was sent down to Sri Lanka. I'm going to open Sri Lanka map for you. Again, we are typing in Arabic. I hate it. Okay. According to the stupid Muhammad, Adam, he was the first one who did Hajj to the Kaaba. But this is Sri Lanka, and Sri Lanka is nothing but an island. It is an island. So how in the world this man, Adam, he was able, you see here there's sea, here, it's not connected. This is not a land connected to India. This is a huge distance. So, Adam, he was landed in Sri Lanka. Okay, great. Adam now is going to go to Mecca. I'm not going to ask you how we will find the direction. I'm not going to ask you. How many years it took him. According to Muslim, Adam, he did 40 times Hajj to Mecca. 40 times, he go backward, forward to Sri Lanka. I mean, have you, heard this? have you ever heard of a stupid story like this? As long as you have to go to Mecca to do Hajj, why you are you going back to Sri Lanka? Did you lay eggs there? So, as you see, Sri Lanka is an island. And you cannot cross to the other part of the land, which you have to in order to go all the way to Mecca. And not only that, after you cross the land, as you see here, let us zoom out, this is India. You have to go through all of India, and now what is Pakistan, and then you go to uh, Iran, and then you go to Iraq, and then you go to Syria, and oh, you can go from Iraq actually, and you can go back right away to Saudi Arabia. But that is very long journey. And not only that, Allah, he landed, as you heard this guy, he landed uh, uh, Adam in Sri Lanka, and Eve was landed in Jeddah. This is where Jeddah is, and this is where Sri Lanka is. Have you ever heard of a stupid story like this before? The time of traveler Muhammad. According to science too, at that time, Saudi Arabia wasn't exist. It was under the ground. It was an ocean, actually, I mean, under the water. And that's why they have supposedly, according to science, a lot of fossil fuel. For all dead animals from the ocean, by time they become fuel. And this is why Saudi Arabia supposedly is a pure desert. Why? Because this is the sand of the ocean, deep ocean. So at that time, Saudi Arabia does not exist. Sri Lanka does not exist. But yet, according to Muhammad, the time traveler, Allah, he sent down Muhammad to Sri Lanka. Sorry, sent Adam to Sri Lanka. And he sent uh, Eve to Jeddah. Now the question here, by the way, I mean, how in the world and why Allah, he sent Eve to Jeddah and he sent Adam to Sri Lanka. Isn't it him who told them go and you like you you know you live together down in the earth? What happened? There was an error in the GPS. And as long as Allah he sent Adam to Sri Lanka, 
and Eve to Jeddah, uh, how they met again. He sent her uh, an Instagram message. Adam, he was able to find out where she from TikTok. Was Eve making videos in YouTube and she mentioned where she is now? There's ocean between them. There's countries between them. And the funny, the Quran says, that if somebody come to you with something, tell him, bring your proofs. <laughs> That's what the Quran says. It's not me. Bring your proof. All of those words saying all those verses, sentence, uh, you know, it says, bring your proofs, bring your proofs, bring your proofs, bring your proofs. It's all over. Well, as long as you asking them to bring their proof, what is your proof? Anyone? The proof of Allah is the Quran, but as you see, the Quran is a stupid city book. I'm going to stop here, and I will give a chance to the Muhammadan to answer me and refute me as usual. You know, the Muhammadan, they can refute anyone. It's really easy, shish kebab. You know, Mohammedan, they follow the method of Joe Biden. You know the thing. In two words, they can refute you. You know the thing, and the thing is known. And that's it. We answered you. We want to see even if Imam Murrah agree with this. I think even Imam Murrah will not dare to agree with the stupidity of Muhammad. So my Skype, I'm, I'm opening my Skype right now. Is going to be there in a few seconds. Please, if you're a Mohammedan, text me and tell me how in the world your prophet is so ignorant and how come your God is stupid. And how come, and by the way, we did not mention the rest. There is tons of historic mistakes. We are just mentioning, like, you know, just a snack. Any Mohammedan? My Skype is open. Any Muhammadan? If you are a Muhammadan and you are proud to be a Muhammadan, please feel free to contact me in Skype. I will call you immediately. In best scenario, if I could not speak to you, I will ask the Samaritan who was existing the time of Musa to speak to you. And that explains why we like Indian movies. Because our grand-grandfather, Mr. Adam, he was from India. All of us, we like spicy food. Don't we? Can you explain to me why? It's clear. Because Adam, he was landed in India, specifically Sri Lanka. Actually, I'm thinking to move to Sri Lanka so I can live next to my grand-grand-grandfather, Mr. Adam. But now I'm confused. Adam from Sri Lanka, Eve is from, from Jeddah. For how many years Adam did not have sex? And how he was making babies? Do you think they were having sex online? I mean, the guy, he did not see his wife for long. As you see, the trip is so, so far. I remember, you know, we are not talking about now, you know, you can fly 
from Sri Lanka to Saudi Arabia, you know, maybe 10 hours, I'm not sure, maybe 12, maybe 13. Uh, but at that time, it's going to take him maybe a six-month journey, especially this guy is just walking in his feet. <laughs> 